up, YouTube? This is Mr. B. Crapful for episode 60 of another reboot. So this is a reboot reboot episode. Um, basically, if you haven't noticed, which you're going to notice in uh, two seconds right now. No matter what year it is, no matter what style it may be, or even what rank you might be in. There's one thing for certain, though. It's so crappy to work at. Burger crap. That, um... We have a new uh, view and audio discretion, which you saw kind of in 59. I approved upon him since then. New intro and new outro with also new theme music to go with it. So... Now you're probably wondering what I'm drinking. This I'll go over in a few moments. But first, let's get down to the crap that's been... Pulling a crap at me because I'm letting you know right now, I am doing this episode just after I got done with work. So, which I used to do quite often, and then I just decided to start recording days later since I got done with work. All right, so this entire weekend, which includes today and yesterday, was absolute shit. Same with uh, Friday. Um, yeah, you're wondering, Mr. Crabble, Friday? Yeah, I. Kind of did a little bit of work on Friday. I'm trying not to work Fridays, but they've been begging me lately because one of our people who used to work with us decided to quit on Friday. And because of that, my uh, assistant manager called ahead of time, asked me, bugged me to come in, and offered me a free dinner. So I did the four hours, which was perfect. Oh my god, four to eight on spec board went so smooth, I was surprised. And this is when we were having the, the buy one, get one free chicken deals. Still going on, and um, it went pretty well, to say the least. But um, the bad part uh, was Saturday and Sunday. So Friday, everything went well. All the chicken orders got done. Friday night, um, after I left, one of our co-workers uh, got sick. He had to go home. Unfortunately, he couldn't get home right away because of the snow and the sleet that was supposedly happening that night. And he had to stay at the joint and sleep there at the joint. So it sucks that that, that happened. Um, and because of that, closing didn't get done properly. And by the time I went to open, the people who were there closing were still there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything was clean. Don't get me wrong, but the floor was all sticky and grimy, um, which sucked. But uh, I didn't have to do it. I had to, I had to go right into breakfast setup. So I did the breakfast setup, and you know it was all right. You know, got all that done. I was starting to cut up tomatoes and try to cook bacon. Uh, that kind of backfired because we had too many croissant sandwiches going on because of the stupid uh, two for three dollar deals, and it was retarded. So I had to constantly keep sandwiches on level. And with, because of that, I couldn't really get much of the prep done. Which was bad. But luckily enough, we had lettuce prep, we had tomato prep, and we had some bacon prep. So we just had to cook a little bit more bacon prep, prep tomato. Uh, well, we actually did have tomato prep as well, but we're not supposed to keep, you're not supposed to use tomato that's left over in the fridge. Because until we get done at night, you're supposed to throw that tomato away, not keep it in the fridge. So that sucked. And then, um, uh, let's see. And then we needed onion. Well, we had onion prep, but we needed a little bit more. And that's all the prep we really need. Oh, and pickles. We needed pickles, too. We had at least, I think, one pan of pickle, but we needed like one or two more pans. Um, so that all got taken care of. Brother got together because uh, YouTube piece and screen were done ahead of time. I try. I actually no. I did stock the meat well in the spec fridge. I oh, don't know. No, I didn't. That's right. The guy who was uh, doing the truck order, uh, aka our ship supervisor, uh, brought the stuff out for me, and he had to leave at like eleven. So it was me and two coworkers in the kitchen, and it was kind of nuts because um, the different one. No, actually, it was. Yeah, there was two others and me, and then the person I was thought was going to work in the kitchen actually ended up working up front, which sucked. Um, but overall, we were missing one person for the front to begin with, who, who came in like almost an hour late. And because of that short-staffed person, 
all the breaks were delayed by like an hour and a half. Except for mine. Mine was already done. So, guess what? We had to send people on break while having a lunch rush, which we're not supposed to do. I'll get into more details about shit that's been pissing me off again. Um, so, you know, kind of got through lunch rush a little bit here and there. Around 1, 1.30, I told them I had to get off the board. I had to do the cookouts. had to do the prep, and I had to clean the egg cooker, the uh, croissant toaster, the brother parts, and do dishes. So that's six things I had to get done. Um, did I manage to get them all done? Eh, relatively. I think I for no, no, the cookout was done by someone else. I didn't have to do the cookout. That's right. But, all right, so the five things I had to get done, I did, I guess. But the problem was that I stayed another hour to get them done. Another hour. So, it wasn't like, I, I, got, I guess because I, I got more pay, but I wasn't too happy about it. So, because I wanted to go home right away, I was tired. I got in at 5 a.m., so, and it was kind of chaotic when I saw the closer still there. Go figure. And then today, well, I mean, today was all right. I got in, I had to do the garage and parking lot because the store manager is like, that's the first thing that should get done as soon as the opener comes in, I guess. So I had to go do that. Garbage for a drive was overflowing because stupid people love to stuff garbage in there from their car. Mind you, this might be a long episode, I forgot to mention. Um, so I got all that done, and then uh, I go back inside. Manager wanted me to cook three pans of eggs. Now, mind you, I cook ten eggs at a time, so that's 30 eggs right there. Two pans of sausage. That was 20 sausage. I was able to hold ten in each pan. I did uh, 10, ten uh, French toast sticks, and I did six biscuits, and I had to cook a little bit of bacon, put the cheese on the board, get the cheesy sauce, get the spatulas in the, the thing, I had to get the tortilla shells, I had to make sure all the black and the grate pieces were in the PHU, I had to get the PHU pans in there with the grates, and uh, uh, what else happened? I had to make sure I had boxes for the croissants. Um, and then just general, just see what's what, what's going on. Oh, and they want me to cook the Cinnabons and put the icing on it. So that all got taken care of. I had to see what we had for prep. We had some lettuce prep left. Uh, we had some tomato prep left. We had pickle prep, definitely. Uh, we had some bacon prep. And we had some tomato prep. We weren't supposed to keep the tomatoes again, but for some reason we did. I realized we can't use the bacon prep that's in the fridge right away. It has to get to the room temperature before we use it, which is retarded. And that led me to cook a little bit, a little pan of bacon to use. So with all that said and done, um, we got all the prep finally done by then. Like uh, Another person came in around 9, thank God. I wish we could have that on Saturdays, but we don't. That person came in, did the less tomato and onion prep right away, which was good. The bad news is I didn't know he wasn't coring them out properly, and because of that, we lost quite a bit of lettuce, I guess. So I got to teach people on weekends how to core the lettuce. In the meantime, um, everything was pretty much set up by then. Like we have a new, we have an entirely new setup for main board, uh, for uh, the prep wise. In the old days, it was when you, if you were on board and you saw the prep that was set up, it was. Um, it's, it's, alright, I'm going to be probably going with this hand, but it's actually on this side. So actually, I'll probably go this way, and it actually look right when you look at it. So it goes onions, pickles, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, stacker sauce, other sauces, or whatever, angry onions, uh, onion rings, depending on what the product was at the time. Then uh, American cheese. Big America cheese, the cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, and then bacon. That's how I went. So I went from this to this. The new setup goes... It's it's similar to the original setup, but they modified it. So you still have the onions and pickles here, but now you have the big cheese, the blue cheese, which is going to be on the new bacon and blue uh, chef's choice, new product, crapful exclusive. Um... Then you have the red onions and the onions in between that. And then you have 
the American cheddar and Swiss cheese there. And then after that, you have the bacon, then the lettuce, no, bacon, then tomato, then lettuce, then the mayonnaise, and then the uh, barbecue and roller sauce in the holes, and then the ketchup on that one side. So, in general, that's the new setup. It's supposed to be a lot easier for those who are making sandwiches without the microwave setup, because the old setup was meant for the microwave setup. However, my shift supervisor proposed a, a different method, and it went like this. You had the bacon, the cheeses, um, the stacker sauce, then pick, you know, then, then the onion, then the pickle, then the tomato, then the lettuce, and then the mayonnaise. Which makes sense because when you build a sandwich, you have to start the top part with mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, then the bottom part with pickles, ketchup, onion, and then wrap. I mean, that stuff makes sense, right? But the other one doesn't really properly get it right, and you're still reaching over from, like, right to left or to right. Ridiculous amount of doing so. So... Anyways, let me get back to my day. So that's all set up. The issue I had this past weekend was um, when we were putting me in the PHU. I forget which episode it was, but there was an episode where I was talking about the White Stoppers. I know it was uh, somewhere in the 50s. I'll probably go look at it on YouTube and just annotate it on the bottom of uh, which episode it was so you can refer back to it. Um, where we had a White Stopper that's supposed to be on there, but it broke. Uh, which is a problem when you have like the little black pans that are top of the PHU and it causes the um, The pH the, it causes the black things to slide out which is supposed to cover the PHU pans to keep them warm and That white stepper is not there. They're constantly falling out every time you put in or take out the PHU pans Which is an issue um, and I've been trying to tell the managers all weekend long to fix that, and they haven't done so yet. So that sucks. Uh, what else? So we started getting the lunch. You know, we had beef all done, everything. I got on board. Okay, so here's the first thing that went wrong. They sent one of the people on break at around 11.30, right before lunch rush. Person comes back in around 12. Uh, we were starting to get B caught up and everything, and he decided to go do dishes, which was not, you know, I didn't tell him that wasn't the right thing to do, so dishes was pretty much the right thing to do. But, um, the issue was, is, uh, when it started to pick up, I had him try to drop meat as fast as possible, like, you know, get the burgers up, get water up. So, we finally get burgers all caught up, and we run out of toppers, so I'm like, alright, drop more toppers. So he went to go drop toppers, and I was also starting to run out of Whopper meat. Because what happens is the, my area tends to always, like I said in previous episode, eat mad Whoppers and eat mad toppers. So we get we get through, we go through those product pre relatively quickly along with the burgers because of the stacker sandwiches always being the dollar, two dollar, three dollar deal. Um, and then my system manager, or the, the store manager who was not supposed to be there and was counting inventory got upset, um, saying, you know, you're going to lunch, why aren't you on three screens, yada, 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 and then, uh, you know, and I have all the beef stocked, and then, um, in addition, uh, I uh, have level done. The problem was that, um, we couldn't get level done unless we had stock, so we had to stock, but as we're stocking, we're also getting hit, so it was kept, they kept depleting. Um, which sucked. So, I had, I had, had to tell the guy, just drop me beef and I'll try to catch up. So, I was getting hit a little bit. I did catch up. And my manager's like, we'll get on three screens. And we got on three screens. And she, uh, this person was supposed to technically help us, even though this person was not supposed to be at work today and was just doing inventory. But then she just decided to throw us underneath the bus and, um... We kind of suffered a little bit with uh, our drive for time and uh, trying to get prep done and catch up on beef and stuff because the guy on spec board was not keeping Teagle super stocked. So with that set in mind, we had to constantly keep dropping Teagle as well, which caused issues trying to keep up with everything. 
Um, I was trying to rush as fast as I could. Thank God for the mocha slash caramel frappe I had. I'll give more detail about it. Um, and it gave me the caffeine and energy to get motivated and actually run around and get shit done. Um, around 1, 1.30, I got the notion that I need to get off. Well, not right away. Actually, it was around 2 o'clock. I had a, the notion to get off board and uh, try to get prep and all that stuff done. Oh, and by the way, we have new registers and we have a new system going on right now. And no joke, not even a week since this new system went up, Burger Board, the individual board I was working on, for some reason completely froze. The bump bar and the timer, like the, the actual analog clock that tells you the time, or digital clock I meant, uh, froze. So, <laughs> that board actually went down. We had to go on two screens. Like, everything was working fine, but that board. So, it's surprising that we found that actually happened, and it hasn't even been a week old since we implemented the new system. So, I knew there was going to be issues with it, but I didn't think it was going to have that many issues. Um, and also, I like to clock in with my finger scan, so that's awesome. So, yeah. So, I wasn't on the burger board the entire time, but um, I was kind of helping the guy on main board and jumping back and forth helping the person on spec board. So, I get off. I, I try to get prepped on. I try to, you know, get going on that shit. Um, I started cooking the bacon, and I knew what I had to get done. I had to get the ba six pans of bacon which is 180 strips in total because you got to put them in a separate pan and have 30 strips in there entirely. Then, um, a pan of, uh, two pans of pickle and a pan of tomato. Sounds easy. Then wash dishes and then do the brother parts. Um, and I wanted to try to clean the egg cooker and the croissant toaster again, but that didn't happen. And I got as far as getting the bacon prep done, but then I had to jump on spec board. The issue I had with spec board today was when I went on there, there was not enough chicken cooked and we had a huge order coming in of chicken and um, at that point I was upset I'm like I had to cook everything you know I you know I didn't have the food and they couldn't pull the cars for some reason because they had like seven cars are going something like that going on so I'm like can I get some help on spec board and then the manager side say well you're on your own today blah 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 and because of that I'm like well then everything's gonna have to wait so, eventually, that person decided to come over and help me, because they knew they can't, they, she knew she could not do that. And my phone's ringing. What are the odds? It's the 1-800 number service. I don't know who it is. Hey, one moment. Hello? Hello? Okay, movie service. Yeah, no. Bye bye. Interrupted my mystery crap episode. What is wrong with you? So, yeah. And that person came on and finally came over to help me, and we, you know, started to catch up and cook all the chicken and stuff like that. I had to cook 24 chicken. I was only I only had six chicken. We needed like more than that. Yeah. So I get that cook, cook the tea, Chris. Cook tenders, cook spices, because the guy left me nothing. I was on that board from, oh, I would say 2.15 to 2.45. Right there, that killed all my time to get shit done. Just a half hour killed everything. So as soon as he got back on board, I told him, this is your board, whatever. I get off the board, I forgot to stock him with mozzarella cheese for, you know, like the Italian chicken sandwiches. And probably cook a little bit more tenders, but I was already pissed at him because he left me nothing. So I go in over there, got the YouTube pieces, got those clean, and I told my assistant manager how much I got done at least. Uh, some of the bacon was done at least, and they had tomato. They, I mean, they had some prep, but we're going to dinner rush, so I felt bad that I couldn't get everything done that I wanted to. So I got out there, and I'm like, whatever. And now here I am, and let's talk about new shit. So yeah, before I forget, let's look at the Cinnabons. You're wondering what the hell I've been drinking. Mm. This is a Crapful exclusive. Oof. And it's interesting. 
And you gotta tell, there's a new cup. And he even says on the side here, great taste. Well, mmm. It is a great taste. Now, remember when I was mentioning smoothies a while ago, right? This is the mango smoothie. It's delicious. And from what we can tell, from what I can tell, the, the, the way it's run, it's pretty good. Um, we actually have our own little ice maker, which I did mention that we were going to get. And basically, we, there's a measuring of how much ice you need, and tells you how many pumps you need, and all that other junk. Along with how much fruit we got put in. Okay, this is not syrup, this is actual real fruit. So, you know, you put the ice in there, you get the fruit in there, you get to squirt the pumps in there, like a little bit of mango taste, syrup taste, I guess, but there, there is actual fruit there. Some yogurt, a little bit of water, and then you blend it. And then once it gets done blending, you put it in this thing. Right here is a large. This cost me $3.56. A medium is like here. That cost me three dollars and two cents, and then um, no, actually, medium would probably be right here, and then the small is like this. So a medium about this size cost me three dollars and two cents. This is a large. This cost me fifty cents more. Go large, because when you think about it, this large is actually like a medium to small size actual Burger King cup, but it's really good, and I'll talk about also the frappes too. We have a caramel, and then we have a mocha frappe. And then the other smoothie is also called the banana, uh, strawberry banana smoothie. I pretty much got to try them all in one, like, one, one weekend. I had the mocha slash caramel frappe on Friday, and then also had it for uh, lunchtime today, which was, like I said, it's a caffeine boost. It's it's like a coffee. It's, it gives you that coffee taste, that mocha, I guess, is a coffee taste. I should just try uh, straight-up caramel. But, uh... Or caramel, or whatever the hell you say it. So, I'll probably have to try that again without the mocha. And then I did try the banana uh, strawberry, and I even tried a co combination of the mango and banana strawberry, which is really good. So, there's really good combinations, I guess, but it's interesting and it tastes good. Um, what else is happening? We're getting a uh, new chicken sandwich, which I found out on, uh, uh, you know, the 12 Crickles, right? The paper I showed you like years ago, or not years ago, like months ago. This thing, yeah. Well, they have an updated version of that, but um, it said uh chicken and crisp. Now a lot of people on drive you always call it chicken and crisp, but it's really a, a spicy chicken and crisp. Um. So at some point, we might be discontinuing the spicy sandwich and go with a regular dollar chicken sandwich. I don't know, but it's a possibility. Because that's what I saw on their new updated uh, 12 Crinkle sheet. Which they call the Game Changer book now. Like I said, uh, we got bought out by uh, Bud Cracker, a.k.a. Budweiser. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the red shirt today, I'm, I'm probably going to be doing it for the next few episodes that we're wearing this because sometime this month I'm getting the new uniform gray, gray-ass, gray piece of shit shirt, which is like the old uniform except without the black lines. And I'm going to get a baseball cap, just like the one I have currently, but it's going to be gray. It's going to look like this essentially, but this part is not going to be as nice and shiny, and this is all going to be gray. But we still have the black pants and the black apron. So it's going to be like a black-gray look again. Um, all the employees are going to get this look. That includes uh, team leaders and uh, ship supervisors. No, I think ship supervisors and the managers actually get the white shirts. <laughs> they get white shirts, we get gray shirts. And the only way to tell the difference between the rank, especially if you're an employee or a team leader, is by your badge. A.K.A. your, uh, your little uh, name tag. So it sucks, but that's the only way you can really tell the difference. So I'm gonna be in that soon, and if you notice in the intro, I've I have all the uniform looks. So there's a possibility this red shirt might not be here anymore, and they might have me get rid of it on the spot because as soon as we get the new shirts, um, the old shirts are no longer good in use for the kitchen. Like they're not approved anymore. And that includes our one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one shirts, which are the special shirts you would have gotten from the inspection from the inspectors. They, they, you know, just like um, 
you know, my uh, team player little badge thing. That's what I would have had uh, if it was actually a shirt instead. So, yeah. So, it's just basically you can keep the shirts, but, you know, it's supposed to remind you of your accomplishments, I guess. But it's stupid in general. And, yeah, so I'm probably going to be wearing this a little bit longer. Like, I, they don't know I have this, still have the black shirt, so. But I don't know how long I might have the team leader red shirt. So, that sucks. Uh, what else is going to suck? Oh, supposedly I'm going to get another pair of pants and another gray shirt. So I'm going to have, like, two pairs of the same clothing, I guess. i got to make sure I get bigger pants. Um, because the other pants I have is still too tight. And apparently, even though you ask for your size, make it, they make it way too tight. So I gotta get a little bit bigger size pants for myself so I can breathe. And, uh, you know, less prep was not clean. Like, you know, I kind of jumped the gun on that one. But, um, yeah, in general, like, a lot of retarded shit's going on. Oh, our discounts. Yeah, we don't get the 50% off discount anymore. No. You see, if you get anything that's $5... Or, to, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out the, the new system, but anything that's over $5, uh, you don't get, like, the normal 50% discount, I guess. If it's over $5, the only discount you get is $2.50 off your meal. So let's say, for instance, I got a tender crisp cheese and bacon, plain, medium fried, medium drink, which usually averages out somewhere around, like, 9 30 something 9 50 something um, I can only get $2.50 off, which I guess covers a little bit of the tax as well. I'm trying to figure out if that's with or without tax. It seems like it's with tax or something. And supposedly, it, like I said, it only takes off a little bit, so I'll probably still pay a little bit over $7 or under 7 like six ninety something But still, it's retarded. Like, if it was 50% off, I'd be paying 4 or 5 bucks. So now I'm paying like an additional dollar, two dollars on my meal because they had it. They built, they put in new registers, and they also changed our discount amount. So sorry about that jump cut. I had some family issues going on. Um, so yeah, discounts are retarded. Um, not too happy about that change, but um, overall, I'm not happy with these changes as it is, and we're still short staff and. Other shit, so the jail's still pissed off. But enough about that for now. Let's, um, I mean, that's basically what happened this weekend. Shit, just in general, stupid. But, uh, let's see. So, what's gonna happen to Mr. Crowley that's gonna be new? Well, being this episode's out, you probably noticed that there's also been a change in my YouTube channel. If for some reason you're not looking on my YouTube channel and you just looked up on the search button, and you just click the link. Uh, if you want, check out my channel because I've updated my channel for those who are new or for those who are subscribed. Um, first thing you notice on the new channel look is, again, the background. Uh, the top will let you know the date I have started YouTube and when I started my actual job. Um, and on the left, there's a little check sheet, a uh, little uh, checklist that's going on. Did I say left? Because it's going to be this way, which in general is going to be that way. So it's actually over here. Uh, right? Yeah. So on this side, you're going to be seeing the checklist, which is going to be pretty cool. And it's just basically in general, like, stuff that, you know, constantly pisses me off and shit I've gotten done and not done yet. Um, one of them is going to be the new shirt that I suggested. And also episode 60, which is going to be coming out relatively soon after I get done with 59, which is done, but I have to upload it. I'll probably upload it tonight. Um... And that's pretty much about it for the new look and stuff like that. I've got everything technically done and going to have a new transition soon. Um, which you're probably not going to see completely in this episode. Like you're not going to see the inspection or the record segments yet, but you're going to definitely see the Crapful exclusive um, version of it. And uh, what else is going to be new? We have new salads coming in, new wraps, which are already out. Everything's pretty much already out. Yeah, everything's out now. I forgot. These uh, smoothies and frappes go out on Monday, which is technically uh, March 5th. And that's about it, YouTube. I'm going to have to end it here because of family reasons, but um, you got like about 30 minutes here, so. 
Mr. Kyle signing out for now. Uh, check out the other channels in the description, the, the description below. Subscribe, comment, like, whatever. You'll see that in the outro, and I'll see you later. Mr. Craft. Enjoy that video, YouTube. Sign subscribe out. to more videos. Or like this video. Or even comment. Whichever you choose. Until then, I'm Mr. Craft, and I'll see you later.